Hi everyone, so in this video I'm using an app called Beep OBD um, which is an app which can pull much more information from uh, different cars so I've connected up to BMW i3 with a Bluetooth adapter um, and I'll maybe put some links in the description to the app and stuff like that so the app can show you like vast amounts of information about what's going on in the car so I've got the main things here that I'm interested in so I'm just basically in this video going to do do a few different things, see how much power the car consumes while doing well, well consumes or produces. So uh, just now it's sitting just in the drive position, uh, not moving at all. So if I switch on the lights, we'll see what the current goes up to. Um, it doesn't change that much. The lights don't actually use that much power at all. Um, switch those back off again um, and if I switch on the heating at full power uh, let's see right about 18 amps point out the battery just for the heating on full power 18 17 amps just, well, that's a heck of a lot of power so uh, so yeah, in this video I'll, I'll be charging it as well and showing what the charging currents are. So um, we'll start moving now. So let's just accelerate as hard as it can go. Yeah, almost 400 amps there, so it can pull a heck of a lot of current out of the battery. Um, the battery is actually quite low just now, it's only showing 11 miles on the screen in front of me. So we'll get it, we'll get the speed up a bit more and we'll see what the maximum regeneration power is. Okay, so I'm going to go up to 50 and I'll see how strong I can get the regen to go. So full regeneration now. We hit 141 amps there, so that's quite a decent amount of power. So I'm going to switch the range extender on just now. Uh, we'll see what that does. Okay, so here's the charging current. Um, this is on maximum. Use the 30 volt charging cable. So we can change them to reduced. So this is what happens on reduced. 3.84 amps. Put it on low. That's. 2.9 amps so yeah hopefully I'll put a link in the description to how you can set this app up um, I'm using a pretty old Bluetooth adapter anyway but I think there's better ones you can get now which might improve the speed of things <laughs> 